Welcome to month five of training, CPA marketing plus Google display ads. In this training, you will learn how to choose a hot CPA niche that comes with an HQ template, how to outsource banner graphics to use as ads, how to choose your targeted audience, and the smartest and most powerful way to run banner ads on Google. What are Google display ads? This is when you put up a network of banner ads on niche targeted websites ran by Google. These laser targeted banner ads can bring you unlimited traffic. Imagine having a CPA gaming offer and you pay to have a banner ad placed on 100 or more high traffic gaming websites linking to your CPA offer. That's what's possible when you're dealing with Google display ads. How profitable can this be? The guy in this picture goes by the name Mr. 50K a day. His number one traffic source for CPA marketing is the Google Display Network. That's right. This man makes $50,000 every single day and a majority of that traffic comes from the Google Display Network. How soon can you expect results? Because this is a paid traffic source, you can expect to see results much faster than free sources. But trust me when I say this, if you find something that works, you can start seeing results the very same week that you put up your banner ads. Step one, get signed up with the Google Display Network. So it's time to get started. It is time to get signed up with the Google Display Network and really the Google Advertising Network overall. And how you do that is you simply go to ads.google.com. Whenever you do that, you click Start Now. After you click Start Now, Google's going to ask you to log in with a Gmail account. If you don't have one yet, you'll simply have to create one. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to log into one of my Google Ad accounts. I'm just going to log into um, the AdWords using an email that I've never used before. So let me go ahead and do that right now. This one right here. My CPA boss one. Let me just log in. Okay, so once I log in, what it's going to show me is, it's going to show me, see, if if I would have chose the simple mode, it would ask me, did I want to create a simple campaign? But what you want to do, if it don't show you um, all of these squares right here, it's going to show you right down here at the bottom, choose expert mode. You want to choose expert mode in order to get to this space. Let me see. Let me see if it is doing. Okay, here we go. Switch to expert mode. You click that. Whenever you get right here, what you would do is you can choose whatever you want. But if you want to do the Google display ads, you will click leads because what we are looking for are leads for our HQ template. So just click leads. Once you do right here, display. It, this is the Google display network right here. Of course, you can do video marketing. You can do shopping. You can do search, but what we are doing right now is display. Just click display. After you click display, you can just choose your standard display campaign. And you can put your website URL right there if you want to, but if you don't want to, you can just click continue. And after that, you will be officially set up with the Google Ads Network, and you will go through all of the steps by, you know, entering in your debit or credit card information at the very end. And set up your campaign but Google's very very simple as you can see they're already asked me to go ahead and set up the campaign choose my targeting and all of that of course we're going to do that later on in the training but that's all you have to do once you log into Gmail is click switch to expert mode choose Google display ads and just go through the steps and th go through these steps right here and then go to the billing section and you're ready to launch a campaign so it's super simple and once again we're going to do that later on in the training, but I just wanted to show you how simple it is to go ahead and get signed up with the display network so you can begin running your ads. Step two, choose your niche that has an HQ template or create one. Okay, so it is time to choose the niche and also to choose an HQ template along with the niche. So what I mean is, I mean going over to cpagriptemplates.com. In this training, we're going to be working a lot with CPA Grip because cpagriptemplates.com is going to really give us HQ templates that's proven to make six and seven figures. Each one of these HQ templates on here are very, very, very optimized and they are very, very great. 
when it comes to really converting well and turning all visitors into potential leads and most visitors into actual leads. So cpagriptemplates.com, I'm sure you've heard me talk about CPA Grip templates earlier on in other months, but this is a very, very powerful website that helps us out with CPA Grip and our earnings overall because they provide us with super professional custom coded templates that we can simply grab, copy over to CPA Grip and just simply send traffic. So CPA Grip templates is definitely going to help us here. So what you'll have to do is, and what you'll want to do is, you'll have to really think here. When you're choosing your niche, you'll have to think, which one of these niches can I capture a large audience with? Which one of these niches will go good with a banner ad? Well, let's just say if I want to run a banner ad for a free Facebook training and I want to target people on marketing websites, what I mean is create a banner that's going to be put on a hundred different online marketing websites and that banner will be linked to a Facebook, a free Facebook ads training and whenever people click through, they will land on this CPA grip template right here. And of course, whenever people click begin download to access the free Facebook ads course, they're going to have to fill out a CPA offer. So you have to think about where you could see your banner ads at and and the potential traffic that you can get to your banner ads. And of course, you'll be able to choose where you want your banner ad to land with, with, of course, whatever niche you choose. But you just really want to think this out and choose your niche wisely. If you are choosing something like the vape juice landing page on CPA Grip templates, let me show you how many searches that gets a month. I already was searching for it. 420,000 searches per month. So you best believe this right here is a campaign that you'll probably run and start if they allow you. I'm not even sure if Google even allows it, but they probably they probably do. They, they most likely do. But if you can run a campaign like the, the vape juice, get free bundle. Let me see. Get free bundle of our vape juice today. Limited time offer. And it says smoke now, the call to action. Whenever somebody clicks smoke now, of course, they have to fill out a CPA offer. But if you can run something like this vape juice landing page, I'm pretty sure you're going to start seeing CPA commissions rolling in the very week that you start running something like this. You know, not, not me trying to choose something for you to tell you exactly what to choose because everything works. Remember that it just hasn't worked for you yet. All of these templates on here, right that you right here that you see, are already earning people five, six, and seven figures a year. So they already work. They just haven't worked for you yet. So just about everything you choose on here, or whichever one you choose, is going to be very optimized to earn the, the maximum potential earnings that you could possibly earn with CPA marketing. So you would just have to choose whichever niche you want to be in. Of course, if you're in something like the gaming niche, like the Clash Royale which makes billions of dollars. The PlayStation Network, you know, if, you, if you're in that niche or let's see, um, the YouTube Ranker niche, whichever one of these niches you choose is going to, you know, it's going to work. But some, some may work better than others, much better than others. Bitcoin niche, Pokemon niche. Let's see, here go another gaming niche. The Game of War niche and so on. But you'll be able to choose Whichever one of these landing page that you, pages that you want to choose is completely up to you. But for this training, I am going to go down here and I'm going to choose the weight loss niche. This is very broad and this is very competitive. So you want to also make sure that you are getting cheap enough traffic starting out because you don't want to end up paying 3 and $4 a click. I'm testing some things right now in one of my Google Ads test accounts that I was just now charged $5 per click. But of course, I was running overseas, um, a lot of overseas traffic. So the five dollars per click was going to convert into, and did convert into fifteen dollar to twenty five dollar leads with um, a, a couple of different countries with CPA Grip. But still, five dollars a click is way, 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 way too much. You know, most people only run five dollars per day with their ads, but I was paying five dollars per click. But I only done it once, and of course I'll never do it again. It was just a test. That's all. It was just a test. I believe I even, you know, broke even on that. So it's something that I personally wouldn't do ever again. So what you want to do is you want to choose a niche and an HQ template that is not going to cost you no five dollars a click. You want to pay 
maximum 50 to 75 cents per click. And that, that may sound low. Even if you if you're doing some overseas traffic and you get paid $15 for a lead, 10, you know, even $5 a lead and, and you're paying a uh, dollar per click, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you are first starting out with the Google Display Network, try not to pay more than 75 cent per click. And sometimes even that is high. So if you can get around a 50 cent range, you're definitely going to really see some very good results with your banner ads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this weight loss niche landing page. And how it will work is it will, it will allow me to put whatever URL that I want behind this three-week diet training, this HQ template right here. So whenever people unlock this this video right here, they're gonna watch the video. Whenever they unlock this ebook, they're gonna be redirected and gain access to the ebook itself. So that's exactly what you're about to watch me do right this minute. It is very professional, very optimized to earn, and it's something that can make a whole lot of money because of course it's in a in a fat burning niche too. So let me go ahead and do that right this minute. So I just logged into my dummy account with CPA Grip. And what, what you're about to watch me do right now is go ahead and set up this HQ template right here. And what I would do is I would click monetization tools and I will go to URL file lockers. Then I click, I'll click create new URL file locker. Agree like we always do. And let me just put weight loss. Put weight loss new just to let myself know that it's new. And let me scroll down and copy the CSS code. Remember, you just got to copy the CSS code in the HTML code. Let me do that. Copy. Go over here and paste. Scroll down. And I will copy. Scroll down and copy again. And I will paste right here, refresh. Here we go, that is now refreshed, it is good to go. Let's go over here to general locked URL. I got PDF right here, weight loss PDF. I got it right here. It's not the exact one that, um, that people are gaining access to. The three week diet is not the exact one. But so I will have to find that exact one, but I'm just doing this for this uh, specific training video. But of course, you know, if you don't have the exact one and you redirect people to a weight loss, uh, a weight loss PDF, a, a helpful one, this is a very, very good, helpful weight loss PDF. So if you redirect them and they didn't pay anything for it, there's no crime to say that, you know, I didn't pay for something and I'm being redirected to a different weight loss PDF. There's no, there's no crime at all for that. So you can do that, but it's best to find the um, the three-week diet or whatever the niche may be. It's, it's best to find that specific PDF that they are complete and offers to gain access to if you want to keep your reputation good. And of course, with CPA marketing, your reputation is your everything. So definitely have the PDF to redirect your visitors to once they complete an offer. So let me just put this weight loss PDF right here. And I'm going to just click create. And click get links. Of course, we, we're not going to use this ugly link right here. It's got to be a professional link. And let me just go to it and you'll see how it looks. Here we go. The three week diet. And of course, instead of the free, the three week diet, I can, I can always change this too. I can always change this. Okay. This image is not showing up right here. The three week diet free download. Let me go back in and I'm going to see why this image is not showing up. Let's find that image is not showing up. Three week diet. Uh, let's see. There's the image right there. Let me see. See if I delete this, if I mess something up. Okay, there we go. Let's save it now. Sometimes it's hard to find. Like if the image is messed up, like you see this one not showing up, you can replace it or you can just completely delete it if you're using this specific template or any template. Okay, so basically, as you can see, all people would do is a nice little landing page, watch the video. You're about to learn the underground fat burning secrets of elite bodybuilders, celebrities, and fitness gurus. Okay, so after they watch the video, they will click begin download and they will simply say complete an offer below to continue. 
once they complete an offer. Of course, me as a CPA marketer will get paid for that and they will be redirected to the weight loss PDF. And that's exactly, of course, how you should know already now because this is month five, but that is exactly how it works. So that's what I wanted to show you right here in this part of training. So what you will see me do later on is, of course, turn this link into a professional domain name. You can't, and I repeat, you cannot use this ugly link with Google Ads. They're not going to allow it in a million years, so you want to have a domain name. And of course, it can be a cheap domain name for 99 cents, but you definitely want to have a domain name when you are advertising on the Google Display Network. But the HQ template that I chose and the niche that I chose is weight loss. It is now set up. So it's now ready to get a professional domain name and, of course, a landing page and start running Google Ads. Step three, grab a matching domain name to be professional. Okay, here we go. Since we've chosen the weight loss niche, it is time to find a domain name, a matching domain name, that is, to match up with our niche. You never want to choose any kind of domain name because it's just going to look super unprofessional when you whenever you are running ads even if you are just running test ads you know it's not going to work as well if if people are landing on a domain name or, or a website overall that's not matched up with what they are seeing so you can't have a make money domain name with a weight loss banner or weight loss landing pages and it's just not going to work like that people are not going to trust you so you always want to make sure everything matches up but like I said, there's 99 cent domain names, so you can just find something cheap, and that's exactly what I'm about to do right here. So since mine is weight loss, I'm just going to make something up. Let's see. Let me just see if losing weight fast dot something is available. I'm sure it is. Look at this right here. It's a premium domain name. If I wanted to dot com, it's going to cost me 9600 and $74, but of course we're not going to pay for that one. We can go down here and choose, let's see, the XYZ one. Let me see, it looks like it's already in the cart. Okay, okay, so um, the XYZ one is the one we're going to choose. If Google give you any problems at all with choosing the XYZ domain name, what you want to do is you want to try to choose another extension. But just for this training video, I'm going to just go with the XYZ one because, of course, it's a cheap domain name and... To run ads, you don't need no $10,000 domain name or even a $10 domain name. You just need a you know a dollar domain name to run your ads. So let me go over here and click confirm. Okay, let me log in. Go ahead and get logged in really quick. 6727. Okay, now, okay, here we go. Thank you for your purchase. The domain name losingweightfast.xyz has been purchased by myself. So what we are ready for now, we are ready for action. We're ready to link this to the CPA Grip HQ template. And of course, um, we can link that to a landing page. You can try with or without a landing page. It's completely up to you. But if Google rejects you for not having a landing page, you can just Create a simple landing page and just run with it because you'll most likely get your ad approved every single time. But our domain name is good to go and it is ready for action. Okay, so before I move on to creating a landing page and showing you how to create a landing page, I just want to make sure that our domain name looks natural to Google and that it's fully cloaked. What I mean is I could simply click manage right here and I could easily redirect this URL, this URL right here, I could redirect it to this domain name. But once Google see that a redirect is performing and happening, they're going to it's going to raise a red flag for Google and they don't play no games at all. I went over how to do this by having a web hosting account and kind of just cloaking it and making it look like a real website. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm sure you'll most likely remember how to do this but you definitely need a web hosting account in order to do this so first off let me go ahead and add this domain name to my web hosting account by going to my web hosting account and clicking add on domains 
and you could just watch um, watch um, I believe it was month it might have been month three or four but you can watch one of those trainings in order to do this but like I said most of you guys probably already remember anyways but I'm just adding this domain name to my hosting account as an add-on domain okay it's added so then I'll click manage. Okay, so after I click on manage, it's gonna take me to the screen right here that's gonna allow me to change my name service. And I will grab these name service on my, on my hosting account. And if you, um, if you have any problems setting up your name service and you're on month five, just hit us up in a Skype group, in a team Skype group, and you know, I'll help you walk through this part easily just to remind you once again but what we are doing once again is just connecting our domain name to our hosting account that's all we're doing and that should be fully connected so I'll go over here to file manager and I'll find that specific let's see I will find that specific one losing weight fast by X, XYZ and all I gotta do is go over here to CPA grip See, I can copy this URL right here, and like I said, I can I can have it redirect to this domain name. I can have my professional domain name, this one over here, redirect to this ugly one. But once Google detect the redirect, they're not going to like that. So what we want to do is just kind of cloak it and make it look natural by clicking right here on this drop down, going to custom domain name, and click click here to download index.php. And let's save the file. Let's make sure that file is saved. File is saved. Now I got all I gotta do is upload that index.php file. Okay, now that index.php file has now been uploaded. So basically, whenever people go to the domain name losingweightfast.xyz, they are going to get the HQ template that you watch me create over here, this weight loss. HQ template. This is exactly what they're going to see without this ugly URL right here. So that's going to take a few minutes to actually, you know, get itself together. But it's once it do, it's going to look professional instead of somebody having to type this crazy URL right here that they're not that people is most likely not going to trust anyways. So they're going to trust losing weight fast XYZ ten times faster than they would. Uh, file senzu.com forward slash 835212. They're gonna they're gonna trust this over here much much better, so we won't have to face any problems trying to send people directly to a non you know trusted Google link in the first place. So that's all you have to do in order to connect your HQ template to a professional domain name. Remember, if you have any problems like this, just hit us up in a Skype group, and of course, one of us on the team is going to easily walk you through it. But if you do remember how to do it, just go ahead and just log into your hosting account and add your domain name in and change your name servers and upload that PHP file over here on CPA Grip. And after that, you will be ready to go. Step four, create a matching landing page that links to your HQ template. Okay, please understand when you are creating a landing page, you can easily create a landing page using WordPress or you can create one using Google's Blogspot. But what I've found to work best with overall Google Display Ads is a Google Sites landing page. It's sites.google.com whenever you are ready to create, a, if you decide to create a Google Sites landing page. That's all you have to go to, sites.google.com. But this is a website builder and a landing page builder by Google themselves. So you can build, even though you can build a whole entire website using Google Sites, we're just going to use it to build a simple, quick landing page. And of course, whenever you are building a landing page using Google Sites, WordPress, or anything, you want to put more than just a video or more than just uh, an image and a button because a lot of times Google will give you a hard time if they don't feel like people are going to a valuable website whenever they click through a banner so if you what I'm gonna do right now is just keep it simple in this training video but of course if Google was to give me problems and I just put like a picture like I'm about to do and uh, 
a click through button. If they were to give me problems, what I would simply do is I would just go to somewhere like hirewriters.com and get a quick article written, like a let's say a 500 word article written around the three week diet. So Google will see that it's content on the site and not just an image and a click through button. They'll see that it's valuable content on the site and they'll most likely approve it. So once again, if Google don't approve your simple landing pages, just add an article in or add you know YouTube videos and more things onto the landing page in order to get accepted. And of course, it's all going to go straight to your HQ template whenever this is done. So that's what the landing pages is for. So people will click through a banner, land on your landing page, click through your landing page, land on your HQ template. And of course, that's when the money is made. So let's go to Google Sites real quick. Sites.google.com. Okay, so it will look just like this. It will most likely be very blank, just like mine is. Start your first site. I'll click the plus sign right down here where it says create new site. I'll click that plus sign. After I click the plus sign, it is now ready to roll. So it will look just like this. Google Sites is probably one of the best ways to create a quick landing page. Of course, once again, you should already know that I use WordPress for landing pages and also Blogspot, but Google Sites has turned out to be even more simple than both of those because you can just go to sites.google.com, click the little plus sign in the bottom right hand corner and get to work immediately. So let me go ahead and do this right now. First, I can just go ahead and choose a cool little theme. Let's choose a nice little theme over here. Let's choose something more, a little bit more friendly. Let's see. We're going to choose some pretty friendly. Let's see what this is. That's a red like theme. Here we go, a nice little, we can use this nice little theme right here. And you could just put um, your title. See, gain access to the three week diet. I just put gain access to the three week diet. And I could just, let's see. Me, make sure that's centered. Yes, yeah, centered. Stretch that out as much as I can. Okay, three week diet. Give it a title. And let me make sure my colors is good. I'm gonna just leave it like that. I could change this image right here. Let me go to Google and find a nice banner. We're gonna find a nice banner to be at the top. Weight loss banner. Let me see, that's a nice one right there. Well, but it's my text, is, my font is in white, so I don't wanna lose anything like that. Hmm, let's see. See if we can just find something real quick, just for the sake of this video, this training. That has something on it, let's see what this is. Let's see, we're going to save that to downloads and we're going to try try to use this one. It may work, may not. Change image, upload. Okay, as you can see, that image is now uploaded and actually looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and run with this one, gain access to the three week diet. And what I'll do is I'll go to insert. And what I can do is what you can do with Google Sites is you can just click like this and it will literally allow you to drag and drop a whole entire cool template to set up your landing page. I mean, everything is right here laid out perfectly for you. You can add images, you can embed stuff. So if you got an HTML code, you can add, add a text box. You can add a button or whatever you like. Let me go ahead and add a text box and let me write some text in right here.
So basically what I put is today you will be able to gain access to the three week diet 100% free. Click the button below to watch our video and to also gain full access today. And that's all I'm going to put, something just like that. So let me put a button. The button is going to be, let me see, losing weight fast. Okay. Let's see, show me the video. It says, the button is going to say, show me the video, and it's going to take them to losingweightfast.xyz, which is my um, HQ template. Insert. Stretch that button like that. Bam. Let me move that button over. Button should be in the middle now. And that should be our landing page. After you are done, click publish. And let me put losing all right it says that is a great address but it's already taken so you want to just try to play around and find something that's not taken let me see losing weight faster okay we're gonna roll with this one let's publish it click view there we go. There's our simple landing page. And remember, this is a Google site themselves. So they're going to really trust this URL when it, whenever you use it. See, it's sites.google.com forward slash view forward slash losing weight faster forward slash home. So it's a long URL, but the bottom line is Google's going to trust their own websites. You best believe that. And that's why this works so well. So you could do one of the two. You could grab this whole entire URL right here and you could link it to your banner ads or you could use a, Google, uh, a URL shortener like SmartShare. You can you know, do one or the other. It's just completely up to you. But I've been using this long link just like this and linking it directly to banner ads and it's being just fine. But remember, if Google give you any kind of problems at all, just use a URL shortener or something like SmartShare. That's all you have to do. And whenever somebody clicks show me the video, it will simply take them to losingweightfast.xyz, which is my HQ template. As you can see, they'll watch the video that I promised them. Click begin download. When that happened, that is when the money is made whenever they fill out an offer right here. That's all you have to do in order to create a quick landing page for any niche, it doesn't matter what niche you're in, it's just go to sites.google.com and in order to create your landing page, or of course, you know, within the landing page tab um, on the inside of the mastermind group, you can use also Blogspot and WordPress to create a landing page. But when it comes to running Google banner ads, I think sites.google.com and the you know, Google sites themselves work better than um, even WordPress and Blogspot. So if you choose to roll this way, you'll most likely be accepted in no time and with no problems at all. But remember, if they feel like, if Google feel like, because sometimes they will feel like your landing page is too simple. Whenever that happens, you simply have to just add more. I can add another text box here and I can add a long article if I want to, or I can add two photos right here and each photo can have a nice title. And under that, I can have a text box with a long article it's just completely up to you with how you want to create your landing page but you don't want to put in too much work with it if it's not required you only want to put in the extra work and put a long um, not really a long article like a 500 word article or even a 300 word article you only want to go the extra mile if google is requiring it but as you can see everything looks well overall let's look on mobile how it looks here it, on, here it is on mobile. Of course, you only see the little, the little uh, measuring tape thing. You don't see the, the person itself, but that don't matter because anybody with common sense is going to know it's weight loss. If they see the measuring tape, all they'll simply do is go to um, this landing page on their mobile, and they'll click show me the video, and of course, they will gain access to the video that's promised, and that's linked to the HQ template. This is all you have to do right here in order to create 
your landing page for your Google campaign. Step five, outsource your banner ads or create them yourself. Okay, so even though you can create, you can easily just go to canva.com and that is C-A-N-V-A. -A. You hear me talk about them all the time. Even though you can go to canva.com and create your own website banner, I highly recommend if you really want to make money, let a professional do it. Even though it's going to cost you anywhere from 5 to $15 to have a banner created, it's going to be well worth it because their banners are most likely going to convert and yours are not really going to convert because you're not a, de a designer. You know, you don't, you, if, if you are a designer, that's cool and, you know, you can create your banner ads yourself. But if you are, if you are not a designer, you definitely want to let the professionals handle what they do best. So I highly recommend you go to going to Fiverr.com and just simply type in website banner. Type in website banner and you will be able to scroll around and look at different people creating um, that will create website banners for you for your campaigns. So if I click right here, this person right here, you can see their username right here. It is Mint, M-O-D-O. That's the username of the person that recently created a nice looking banner for me. And as you can see, they create some very, very professional banners. And they, um, this person, this girl charged $15 um, per banner. And sometimes she'll throw in extra banners in there for you. But she creates some very professional looking banners, as we can see, just by looking at some of her work. And I will show you um, a banner in just a second, what she done for me. This person down here looked like they can create some good banners too, starting at $5. So it's up to you with who you want to create your banner at. But if you have your niche already and you have your HQ template already picked out and ready to roll, you just want to get a banner ad created. It can be super generic. It don't have to be, you know, um, completely branded 100% like if I have like, um, like I have the three week diet. As long as I have a weight loss banner, like, I, like I'm about to show you, that will work also as long as it's professional and, you know, works because you, you want to split test everything. You want to get multiple banners created and just split test everything. So whenever you are doing the gigs, ask the person, will they, will they do two, two banners for the price of one? Kind of, you know, negotiate a, an extra banner if you can. If you can't, so what? Just buy one Try to tweak it until you get results and then buy another banner and split test them against each other. So you want to definitely play around. But as long as you got a nice look, a professional banner, you won't have problems at all getting people to your landing page and into your HQ template. You know, that'll be the easy part. You just want to have the most important part and that's something that's, stand, that's going to stand out on the network of websites where your banner will be placed. You want to have a banner that stands out so people will actually click through it in the first place. So I highly recommend you going to Fiverr.com and getting a professional banner made. And this is the banner right here that I had created. It says, say goodbye to fat, burn fat, and lose weight faster. Click here. Super simple, super professional, and it looks very, very good. I wouldn't have been I wouldn't have been able to do this myself. So that's why I say let the professionals handle what they do best and your click through rate is going to be massive. Now imagine me taking this banner ad right here and putting it on let's say 10, 20, 30 different weight loss websites. And I mean websites that have traffic of the hundreds of thousands or the millions of visitors per month. Could you imagine this nice looking banner? being clicked on and actually placed on those websites first. And can you imagine the click through rate that I'm going to have with this specific banner? Just, just really picture that. That is the power when you are spreading your banners across the Google display network, which will be linked back to your CPA offers. Now you see why people are making upwards of $50,000 in a single day by using similar methods like this, because a professional banner, that's placed on a you know on a network of websites that's targeted and is linked to your CPA offer. What else would you get out of something like that besides money and of course a lot of traffic before the money even comes? But what else would you get out of something that powerful? That's why this works and it works very well. Once again, if I would have created this banner at myself, it would nine times out of ten it would not look this good. So. 
This is going to really help me get the maximum amount of traffic to my landing page, which is going to lead to my HQ templates. So once again, if you want to make money, head over to Fiverr and get a pro banner created instead of just going to Canva and doing it yourself. But if you're just starting out and really don't have that kind of budget, why not just try it yourself? But of course, if you have money for paid ads, then you should have money for banner ads. So it, it's just completely up to you, but I highly recommend if you want to see the best results, going over here to Fiverr.com, getting a banner ad created, and you will be on your way most likely to seeing some pretty good EPCs and some very good cash flowing into your CPA accounts. Step six, get familiar with the Google Display Network by exploring around once you are logged in. Okay, here we go. I am logged into the Google Ad Network. There's so much we can talk about with the Google Ad Network. And of course, this is not the training for that. I'm not, you know, it's not like that you came, you joined the mastermind just for Google Ads. So I'm not going to go in deep on a scientific level with this. I'm just going to make sure you guys know the most important things. And that's how everything works, how to place your banner ads, how to choose your targets and how to start getting traffic. You don't have to know about retargeting ads and all of that for CPA marketing. That's, you know, you, you got to know a lot of that stuff. If you are selling a product like high ticket products, you want to retarget audiences and all of that. But when you are getting simple leads, all you have to do is just focus on being spot on and you can start churning out commissions left and right all day, every day with CPA marketing. So I'm about to just show you around the Google ad platform and the Google ad network overall so you can you know see how everything works this is the main interface right here this is a campaign the campaign that i was telling you about where i was getting paid you know i was getting charged five dollars per click with the campaign and that campaign was a, a single mom's work from home cpa offer and of course every single conversion i was going to make up to you know fifteen dollars a, a lead but i definitely paid too much for that so I will either tweak that or simply never run it again because can you imagine how much I would spend if I had, you know, 20, 30 times the clicks? It will be an unbelievable amount of money that I just don't agree with. And of course, this is a campaign that I was going to run with my CPA mastermind, you know, to, uh, to really build the mastermind up and to introduce CPA marketing to many more people, but I haven't done that yet. But um, this is the main interface. It'll sh you, you can see how many clicks you have right here. And that's how many people actually clicked on your banners. You can see how many impressions right here. That's basically how many times your banner is viewed but not clicked. And this is your average CPC, your cost per click right here. And this is the average cost. So remember, you want to try to keep your clicks to, um, fifty between 50 and 75 cent per click. You don't want to ever in your life pay $5 per click. I mean, there's even people with million dollar a month campaigns that don't even pay this much. So that's extremely high. So you definitely don't want to ever pay that much. And if you go over here on tools and settings, you will be able to look up the billing and, you know, all, all of that stuff like set, setting up your billing and the payment methods. When it comes to shared library, that's your audience manager bid strategies and all that. You don't need to worry about all of this starting out right now. Of course, inside of the, the CPA Mastermind Skype, Skype group, where we can get deeper into this if you want to ask more questions about it. But you, you don't need to know all of this to start making money and about convert like measurements and conversions and bulk actions and all of that. You just need to focus on setting up your billing and getting per, um, familiar with this whole entire interface right here that's going to show you the devices that were used to click on your ads that's going to show you your campaigns right over here and it's going to show you really how many clicks you're getting and how much everything is costing you this is really all you need to know about right here and of course when it comes to your campaigns you can see that you know right here you can just click on campaigns and all I gotta do is just click the little plus sign and new campaign and you can start setting up your campaigns just like this and what we are looking for is leads I click on leads I click on display 
and I can do standard click continue and we are in the process of setting up a new campaign this is all you have to do right here but you want to get familiar with the whole entire Google Ads interface we can look around a little bit more let's just go ahead and look around ad groups if you got multiple if you want uh, multiple ad groups like let's say if I was running ads for my CPA mastermind then I was running ads for a, a CPA offer with weight loss these would be different groups of course I'm not going to group these together because it's completely different things you know it's you know e even if it's all CPA marketing I might have an ad group for a weight loss CPA offer an ad group for um, a gaming CPA offer and so on so basically what ad groups are you just grouping things together that actually go together and clicking that plus sign of course you can create new ad groups and just kind of separate everything and of course right here will be your ads see um, if, it, if it's a video ad um, that, that's one of the ads right there but if it's a banner ad of course it's going to show your banner ad down here also and this will kind of be all of your ads right here whenever you click on ads and extensions if you have videos you can click right there and view them landing pages you don't have to worry about that right now keywords you can always add keywords right here you know by clicking a plus sign or you can add keywords directly you know whenever you setting up your campaigns it's just completely up to you and that's the same thing about your audiences you can do that whenever you are setting up the campaign up here and placements that are already be done during the campaign so all of that is done you know during the campaign so you don't have to do that on a separate level but once you are ready to set up a campaign of course you just click on campaigns and click the plus sign of course we're going to do that but I just want you to first get familiar just look around I just first want you to get familiar with the whole Google Ads platform because it's a very smooth platform and it's very simple as you can see it's not very hard to do It's not very hard to run ads all you have to do is make sure your billings you click on tools and settings and make sure your billing is set up so Google will actually have something to charge they have to have a debit or debit or credit card on file or if you got a Google Ads coupon you can use that so um, that's what you want to do you know you, you definitely want to do that set up your billing and just click on campaigns and that's basically going to walk you through step by step everything whenever you click on campaigns because it's going it's to walk you through naming your campaign setting your cost per click uploading your banner ad putting the URL the redirect um, banner ad URL and all of that it's just going to you know allow you to do all of that so before you even get started with ads get familiar with all of this because it's super important and without getting familiar with it you definitely won't even get started in the first place so that's the first thing you want to do is get familiar with it and of course you're going to watch me set up a, a banner ad live so we can go ahead and really start testing this three weeks diet banner ad and seeing exactly what kind of results we're going to get out of it so that's all you have to do in order to you know get familiar with things just click around you know click on campaigns if you need to you know you can click on landing pages you know I don't have any setup right here because that's not really necessary with what we are doing and you know just kind of click around and, and, and view everything if you have to go in uh, you know deeper on specific things like even things that I won't even talk about like placement or not placements like topics and all of that like if you want to learn some extra stuff of course there's videos all over the place talking about the extra stuff but I can promise you if you worry about too much of the extra stuff you won't get any real results with CPA marketing because once again we are not trying to sell a 997 product we are only trying to get leads and those leads don't have to pay us anything they just have to complete certain actions in order for us to get paid so if you just focus in on just your billing the billing part get familiar with the interface and the campaigns part just walking through step by step of course you know you're gonna see how to do that but if you just focus on the bare minimum starting out you will see yourself gaining traction and learning other things in the mix and just getting familiar with everything overall and you will be ready to roll with setting up your network of Google ad banners step seven place your banner ad right now it is time for action it is time to go ahead and get a banner ad set up and activate it so the campaign is about to get fired up for the one and only three week diet HQ template to link to my CPA content locker my HQ template overall 
So I'm about to go ahead and run that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm what I'm gonna try to do first is direct link this um, sites.google.com link, which it should be completely safe. But if it's too long, of course, I can use a URL shortener like SmartShare. But let's go ahead and do this right now. What I'm gonna do is click on campaigns. After I click on campaigns, I'm gonna click the plus sign and new campaign. I'll click leads and I'll click display. Then I'll go down here and I will click continue. Okay, here we go. So I can name it, three week diet. And right here I could choose my locations. I can do all countries and territories right here. I can do United States and Canada right here, United States only right here. Or I can go down here and I can choose whatever I want to choose down here. So I can choose whatever country I want to down here. I'm going to just choose United States only. And let's go down a little bit more. Keep the, um, the language right here. You can choose your language, whatever your language may be. I'm going to choose English. And come, let me see, focus on, see, conversions, manual bid. How much are you willing to pay for clicks? So you can do manual, manual bid. So basically you will tell Google, I'm willing to pay 50 cent max per click, 25 cent max per click. Or what Google would do is they will say automatically maximize for conversions. So they will basically set it for you. I'm going to do manual because Google, Google could just say, all right, I'm going to set it to $7 per click because we want to. Of course, they're going to do that. But Google's they're very smart. They're not trying to rip you for your money. You know, of course, they want to make a lot of money, but they're not stupid. They're not going to rip you for your money. And you say, I'm, not, I'm never using Google ads again because they maximize my campaign to, for $7 per click. You know, so they're not going to do you wrong. Trust me. They want your, they want your money. They want to keep you around. They want to keep you happy. So the budget. Basically, what you got to do right here is enter your budget that you want to spend each day. Most of the time, you um, anybody um, new will put anywhere from five to ten dollars. So for this, for this right here, I'm gonna put five dollars per day. And what it's simply saying right here is at your estimated performance based on your targeting settings daily for a budget of five dollars. You're gonna get a typical bid of seventy-four cent. Remember, remember, I said don't go above seventy-five cents. And clicks is 50 to 150 clicks. That's pretty nice. Average CPC is anywhere from 19 cent to 48 cent. If I could get that, that would be nothing but love. So this could be a, a pretty good ad. This could be a pretty good ad. So here go to ad group right here. Let me just put weight loss. It's going to be an ad group for weight loss. And I'll go down here and I will choose my audience. I can browse. And I could check out their habits, you know, people's habits. Or I could just choose, you know, um, if I want to do like weight loss or something right here, I can choose that. And you can even sometimes choose with keywords down here. But with this, we are going to just choose, let's go browse. Let's click on habits. You want to really, you want to zone in very good as much as you can. Whenever you're doing this, you want to choose, you know, what's going to be best. What's going to be best for your for your specific campaign and right now I'm just trying to I'm just kind of uh, digging right now yeah lifestyles hobby let's just beauty and wellness let's see nope we're gonna do that we're not gonna do no food nope let's see just trying to choose what's gonna be best let's see Fitness. Here we go. Here we go. So what I'm going to choose for this one, I'm going to choose fitness products and services. This is going to be perfect. So you definitely want to just search around. And look, it's going to tell me right here, um, typical bid of 62 cent, um, anywhere from 60 to 170 clicks. Average um, cost per click is going to be 18 to 46 cents. Something like this is going to be love. So what I went and choose after I browsed around and searched over here with ideas, I just type in fit right here and they found fitness. But of course, with whatever your niche may be, you'll just find whatever's going to be closely related because you have to remember your banner ad is going to go across what, a network of websites within this niche, within this whole entire audience in this niche overall. 
your banner ads is going to float and it's going to stick to each one of these websites. So I'm choosing fitness products and services. So that means every single, not every single one, but my banner ad is going to go across nothing but fitness products and services websites that is super laser targeted for my three week diet landing page right here, fitness products and services. So all I got to and my, uh, my, my cost per click and everything is much lower than I expected to spend. So everything is looking very, very good right over here for me. So I can end, I can basically, it says the typical bid is 62 cent. I can enter in what I would want to pay right here. I don't think they're going to make me do that. But, you know, I'm just, I can just leave it at that or I can just say, let me just do 50. Let's see. 50 cent, okay, that, that should be good. Let me just do 50 cent a click. And let me upload my ad. Upload display ads. My final URL is going to be, no, not Nutrisystem. It's going to be my landing page right here. Okay, here go my final URL. Click to upload your banner ad. This is all you got to do in order to make this happen. I'm uploading my banner ad right now. Bam, the, the banner ad is uploaded right here. I can upload my other banner ad that I have right here. I have another one. Here we go. Well, this one's not going to upload, so I'm going to just forget about that one right now. I got one banner ad uploaded right here. All, all I got to do now is click Create Campaign. That's it. Continue to campaign. We are good to go. Look at here. Weight loss is the ad group. I got my ad right here. Let me go to that. click on ads right here. My ad is now right here under review. Look at the status right here. It says under review. What my banner ad is going to do, of course, it, what it's going to do is it's going to be, whenever it says active, whenever my status says, says active, I already know that it's time to rock and roll because my banner ad is going to start showing up on a network of random blogs and websites that's in my niche, that's in the weight loss and fitness niche. So what does that mean? That means people are going to start coming to this landing page like crazy. They're going to click show me the video and they're going to click through to my beautiful HQ template right here to watch the video and click begin download. So whenever this happens and people actually complete an offer to continue, you should already know on month five by now what happens after that. CPA conversions. So all I would simply do is I will simply focus on uploading more banner ads to kind of split test against this one. Split test my landing pages. This, of course, is not the only landing page that I will create. This is super simple. And I mean dead simple, of course, but I'm going to create many more landing pages to split test against this one. I'm gonna create landing pages with lots of text, with probably about the same amount of text as this, with different images. Instead of gain access to the three week diet, it's gonna say stuff like, are you ready to lose 10 pounds in three weeks? Or, you know, I'm just gonna change everything. I'm gonna change the colors. This might be yellow or orange up here the next time. It's just gonna be a lot of different variations of landing pages in order to see what's gonna work best. You don't want to confuse yourself and create 30 different ones. So what you want to do is you want to create, you know, one to three max at a time. And that's banners and, of course, landing pages. And I would only do, you know, stick to two like I told you at the beginning of the training. Just try, just try to stick to two and split test banners against each other, split test niches against each other, landing pages against each other. If it's in the same niche, you know, if it's the same CPA offer like this, I would, you know, of course, Split test multiple landing pages that's linking to the same um, HQ template. I would just split test it like that. And just, you know, your whole entire goal right here is just to see what's going to work best and to see how you can build the biggest income and the strongest income with the Google Display Network. But remember, once you upload your ad and choose your audience and all of that, of course, what you'll want to do is. Keep checking back until this status, instead of says under review, it says active. If it says denied, Google is going to tell you why you were denied. I get denied all the time. People that make a million dollars a month get denied all the time. So don't be upset when you get denied. Just 
follow exactly what Google is telling you to do and simply you'll get you'll get accepted after that that's simply all you have to do in order to get accepted and get your banner ad accepted into the Google Display Network and of course what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be keeping you guys updated with my banner ad results inside of the Skype group remember to join our CPA mastermind Skype group if you're not already a part of it because I want to hear since this is paid ads results are going to be coming in much faster than um, Google SEO you know whatever um, whatever month that was it might have been a uh, month four might have been month three I forgot which one it was but it results is going to come in much faster than Google SEO with um, ranking CPA blogs so I definitely want to hear about you guys results we can keep up with each other we can help each other if we see something wrong we can help each other tweak things and I'll just be right there inside of the group ready to answer your questions and ready to you know cheer you on with your Google Ads so you will know that it is possible to get super quick results with CPA marketing instead of waiting weeks or even months to see results it's very possible to see results with something like the Google Display Networks but I'm super excited to hear about everybody's results that's watching this training right now keep an eye on all of your um, all of your ads I'm sure if you got multiple banners you have a bunch of banners lined up right here but as you can see it's super duper dead simple to run Google Ads and I'm super excited to hear about your results if you have any more questions or want to dive any even deeper in, inside of the Google Ads display network and Google Ads overall if you want to dive in deeper just hit me up on Skype with a private message and just say Brandon I want to dive a little bit deeper with my targeting or with this or with that with Google Ads and I will definitely help you go deeper with it my whole entire goal right now is just to help you get results and this is all it takes just keep things basic to get results get the um, you, you got to get the feel of things and once you get the feel of things and once you start seeing those clicks and those conversions coming in to your CPA grip landing page or if you use OG ads or whatever you may want to do once you see those conversions coming in it's going to be a complete wrap and you're going to see how possible it is to make a killing with CPA marketing one thing I didn't mention at the beginning of the training if you don't want to use CPA grip as your network you can always use of course um, CPA build I know I said OGS is now but you can use CPA build dot com OGS is another network we're gonna be working with later on but you can use CPA build and you can create your own um, HQ templates or you can choose one that that CPA build already has but CPA grip is always the most simple so if you want to start getting the fastest conversion CPA grip templates dot com and CPA grip overall is gonna be the network to help you get those really quick results with their professional templates that we have access to already but I hope you enjoyed this training overall it was a super simple and straight to the point training month five was but this is just like any ad network you know all you have to do is focus on the basics first and once you start making money and seeing clicks and conversions with the basic stuff of course we can dive deeper inside of the Skype group but I'm definitely excited that you watched this part of the training and I can't wait to see how you thrive very strong in month six and beyond track everything you always want to track every single thing you are doing you never ever want to just blindly run campaigns and not keep up with your results your results are your everything your results is going to make or break you if you don't keep up with your results how do you know what's winning and what's losing you always want to keep up with the winning campaigns and simply get rid of the losing campaigns and that's why tracking is super important reinvest the scale okay this is the mistake that I see a lot of people make I see a lot of people get to ten thousand dollars a month and they're spending money on private jets and spending money on four hundred dollar bottles of alcohol and spending money on Vegas every other weekend that is the biggest mistake to make unless you are doing this just to go up and fall flat down on your face with your income you do not want to do that you want to be super smart and, reinv and reinvest every single penny that you make so even if you spend a thousand dollars and make two thousand dollars or spend fifty dollars and make a hundred dollars 
reinvest your profits if you have to. Reinvest at least 50% of the profits if you have to. So if you spend $50 and make back $100, why not reinvest $75 and just you know pocket $25? For every time you do that, you know, so it can really add up if you reinvest at least 50% of the profits. You don't have to reinvest the whole entire profit. You can simply, like I just said, invest only 50% of it. But what you don't want to do is recycle money. So let's say you spend $100, make back $200, then spend it, spend your money down until you have to spend another $100, make another $200. You spend your money down and you, and it's just a never ending cycle. You never want to do that because I call that recycling cash. And that's when you're not growing. You just ending up on the same ship every single time. And that is the wrong way to approach paid ads and especially the biggest paid ad source on planet Earth. And that's Google. Always, always, always reinvest your profits at least 50 percent of the profit. And you will be blown away with how fast you can reach $100 a day, $300 a day, which is $10,000 a month, which is a six figure income. We're around $9,000 a month, but that's still a six figure income. $500 a day, of course, that's a six figure income, all the way up to thousands a day. You will never reach that if you don't reinvest your profits with paid ads. So I can't stress that enough. Reinvest your profits if you really want to scale. Try one other niche to test against your current niche. So let's say your current niche, you found a winning ad after you split test to death. Even though you may be killing it with that specific niche, why not choose another niche after you found a winning ad within one niche? Why not choose another niche to start testing with, putting up ads with, split testing with, and just doing everything that you've done with the first campaign in the first ad? Why not do that same thing with a brand new niche? What you will find when you do this is some niches work different worldly, and I mean completely dramatically better than other niches. So I might have a niche making me $200 a day profit, and I think I'm a wealthy rock star, but this niche over here that I just now started could start making me $600 a day, and now I really know that I'm doing something. So the bottom line is you most definitely want to try one other niche. And you don't want to listen to this. This is very important. You don't want to try any other niche after you crunch down two specific niches and basically see which niche is going to make you the most money. If both niches are making you money, you can run both ads if you want to, you know, ads for both niches if you want. But it's completely up to you. You can focus on one or you can split test niches against each other and you can say, okay, both of them are making me money so I'm just keep both of them it's completely up to you but regardless you always want to test another niche because other niches could outweigh the niche that's to be currently making you money at the time and that's another way you can possibly you can be closed minded let's say I'm in the gaming niche and which is hard to outweigh the gaming niche but stuff like the makeup niche can easily outweigh the gaming niche so let's say I'm making $200 a day with Clash of Clans on Google, and then I start giving away Kylie Jenner makeup samples, running an HQ template with that, and then I start making a thousand dollars a day. I'm like, wow, like this is killing the gaming niche. So I'm gonna stick with this makeup niche, or I'm gonna just say forget it and run both of them. It's completely up to you. As long as it's profitable, it's completely up to you to keep both niches and to run multiple ads, split testing everything within both niches. But the bottom line is you want to try a niche, a new niche, up against, and you know, put it up against the niche that eventually will start working for you. That's something I can't stress enough. It's super important. So always test niches against each other. The whole entire goal with this training is to spend 50 cents and make a dollar back every time. This won't be the case in the beginning, but after testing and testing, this will easily become your reality. There's some users spending 50 cents and making four to five dollars back in some cases. So anything is possible with nonstop testing. Remember, this is paid traffic, so you are the one in control of what results you get. If you think you are going to start doubling your money right away, then you are wrong. 
you have to continue to test until you score. Once you begin to double your money from what you spend, you will be on the way to living the internet marketing dream because you can then take your income wherever you want it to go. Congratulations. I just want to congratulate you for finishing month five of training. If you've made it this far, that really lets me know that you are on a completely different level of seriousness with CPA marketing because five months is almost a half of year. So like, how can you not be serious if you've made it to month five? So this was a paid ad source, of course, and the most powerful paid ad source on planet Earth, which is Google. There's a ton of people crushing it with Google paid ads. And even though I've started really pushing it heavy with Google paid ads myself lately, I'm about to really times 10 things. And I really expect you to also, once your campaigns be start becoming profitable and you just start to flip your money instead of recycle your money and keep on scaling your ass through the roof completely. Let me tell you this. If you are dealing with HQ templates, before I say this, I want to let you know that I've watched a complete newbie go from zero to $600 a day with HQ templates and Google paid ads. So it's really the sky's truly the limit when you are dealing with this type of traffic. But if you are really pushing it with HQ templates, your income is really up to you. It's up to you with how much you want to earn because the earning potential is unlimited. So please don't think that once you get to $100 a day and let's say, $50, $60 a day is profit. Don't think that has to be over because you can keep on, keep on, keep on pushing until you're making thousands a day. You got people making 10, 20, 30,000 a day. And even Mr. 50K a day, Greg Davis is making up to $100,000 a day with Google traffic. Even though he's not doing HQ templates, what he's doing is using free trials with CPA, and that's way harder than HQ templates. So we even have the advantage over Mr. 50K a day himself to make an unlimited amount of income. So I want to let you know that when you first start out with Google, you might not be profitable from the start, but if you keep playing around with it, testing my little bits of spending at a time, five, ten dollars a day. Once you start making profits, go to twenty dollars a day and so on, your mind will be completely blown with the results that you will eventually be able to get. So don't stop, just keep on pushing because you can reach the top with CPA marketing. You can push yourself to the limit with CPA marketing and CPA marketing is the one and only way to scale your income through the roof without having to sell things. So I just want to congratulate you one more time and to let you know the sky is truly the limit. And I can't wait to hear all of you guys' success stories that made it to month five because I'm sure I'm going to be hearing a whole lot of them. I will see you at the very top and I can't wait to teach you what's to come in month six and beyond.